Hello there and welcome to another Mansions of Madness painting video. Today we're going to be painting Lily Chen. It's a relatively simplistic figure but you can have a lot of fun with it. Alright, so let's just get started. First things first is going to be the flesh. For that I'm going to be using medium flesh from Vallejo. And you're going to want to have a pretty solid coat here so definitely two or three layers depending on how thin your paint is. The rest of the order here kind of depends on how you feel about it. I decided to tackle the inside of the dress first with Mephiston Red. Started with the bottom and then worked out my way up to the top. Try as much as possible to miss that border. Now for that border itself, I mix some gold paint and Uriel yellow. Around the side you'll notice there's some notches, which those should be the Mephiston red, their ties basically for her dress. For the border around the legs, it's really up to you. You could just paint them all solid or kind of leave an empty space like I have where the leggings might be. Unfortunately, this is one part of the model that's really not very detailed, so it's kind of up to you how you want to tackle it. I'm leaving a space, but you can tackle it and just color it in if you wish. For the leggings themselves, you also have any choice of color here that works for you. You could keep them a yellow color. For that, I went with a brownish red color. I took Rhinox Hide and mixed it with Mephiston Red in a one to one ratio. And at this point, the indentation I had left before I colored it in. Where the border is is a little bit hazy, so of course I just kind of eyeballed it best I could. For the hair, we're going to use German Grey. I decided to tackle our hairpiece, and for that, I used the same color as the border on the dress. And for the shoes themselves, I used Uthurian Gray. Next up, the washes. Gonna start out with Sarah from Sepia for all the skin. I'm going to use Caraborg Crimson for the inside of the dress and the pants. And I'll use known oil for the hair. You can also wipe it off a little bit and use the same wash for the shoe. Be careful not to apply too much or else you'll be highlighting the shoes a lot more than necessary. At this stage, I decided to tackle the eyes before we get into highlighting. That's just to make it a little bit easier. This is largely because her face is a bit small and I was scared if I did the eyes before I applied the wash, I'd accidentally get wash in the eyeballs. So at this point works since it's still pretty easy to fix any mistakes. Use ivory for the eyes and then a dab of black for the iris if you feel comfortable doing so. And of course, if you mess up and you can't seem to fix it, it's always nice you can just put ivory right back over it and try it again.
Next up, we can start highlighting the skin. Our first highlight is going to just be pure Cadian flesh tone. Really, you're gonna hit most of the skin here. Really just leave the darkest recesses, this plain base coat. That'll be sort of the fold in the arm, maybe the spaces between the fingers. And of course, somewhat on the underside and the backside of the legs, you can leave a little bit under highlighted. Next up, the second and final highlight for the skin is going to be Kislev Flesh. I'm going to apply this largely to pretty much the same areas, but it's going to be slightly smaller. The upturned areas, especially like the top of our arms and stuff, I really wanted to be a little bit more highlighted. Now we can tackle the dress in a couple of stages. Our first highlight for the dress will be Evil Sun Scarlet. This will be applied to most of the dress, especially the upturned areas, but any dark recesses in the folds, especially to the lower half of the dress. A second highlight will be Wild Rider Red, applied to a lot of the same areas, but of course just smaller. The golden yellow bits you can do in several stages. You start with the same exact mix as you had before and you can kind of put that back over a little bit. And then I mix a Uriel yellow and ivory mix and mix that into our original base tone. And then increasingly I mix a little bit of white into the mix and it plates a few highlights. For the pants, I took the original base tone, mixed in a little bit of ivory in several stages, and just highlighted a few prominent folds. As for the shoes, pretty much took the Thurian Gray, went over most of the really dark areas that have been darkened by the wash and made them a little bit brighter, but tried to leave sort of some dark fold where you could still see that wash. And then hit a little bit of the tips with some white. For highlighting the hair, I'm gonna do a couple stages here. 
You can go back over some of the hair with German Grey, then I'll use Eschen Grey, then finally I'll mix Eschen Grey with a little bit of white to do a final highlight. Make sure each of these highlights is smaller and smaller. You don't want to get too much of the very light color anywhere else. It'll look like she has gray hair rather than just very bright tips. I painted the base with the normal Mechanica Standard Gray. Normally that would be the end, but I decided in hindsight to go back and do a few little optional touches. One optional touch was actually to make the dress a little bit shinier. The way I did that was actually to take pure gold and I watered it down, I would say about a two to one ratio of water to gold and just went lightly over the trim. You'll get kind of a nice metallic sheen to it. Also with the red areas of the dress, if you're not exactly happy with the highlights as they turned out, you can kind of do what I did and I decided to use a red glaze. I was using Games Workshop Blood Letter for this. But you can mix your own red glaze just using Mephiston Red and lightly put a layer over all the red areas on the dress. If there's any areas that are overly highlighted, they should smooth out those areas just a little bit. I also decided to give her a little bit of lipstick using Wild Rider Red. And that does it for this painting video. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry for being gone so long, but I've set more and better painting videos as I go. Thank you for watching. Bye.